what's up everyone welcome back to my channel this is Aditya Soma and this is another video on Indian student in Canada series so in this video I'm going to talk about my first part-time job experience because that's a, such a interesting experience that I had of course not in Tim Hortons but uh, I, I wish I started in Tim Hortons you know this kind of service jobs they are pretty pretty decent jobs uh, but it was like very interesting one so when I was still in Sarnia when I was a student in Lambton College which is in 2012 of course in 2012 I didn't get any part-time job but in 2013 this is in I believe in February which is like peaks winter um, we go to college in bus um, I still remember the bus number number two from our apartment to the um, college so in, in this bus like you know um, the, the bus stop from our apartment um, we, I, I went in there and I saw the you know the sign on the bus stop like there is a wanted looking for a, a paper boy so <laughs> And I, and that sounded interesting, you know, no job anyways, at least paper, generally you deliver the paper in the mornings or evenings. So that's what the ad said, uh, looking for a paper boy, working in the mornings or evenings. So I said, oh, that's awesome. So my college is from like 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll call them. So I called her. Um, she said, are you available in the morning? And where do you live? Do you have a car? No, ma'am. Do you have a bike? No, ma'am. What do you have? I have two legs, ma'am. <laughs> that's what literally that's... A, I mean, I didn't say her, but uh, that that's what my meaning was. Like, I don't have anything except uh, myself, my legs. So I, I took the... Uh, she said, okay, sure. Uh, where do you live? And she gave me a couple of streets. She told me what to do. I don't know exactly what was the, you know... Um, the, the salary she would give me for that job um, but she said you know it will be depend on how many papers you deliver so I said okay I'll work for you know one or two weeks I'll see how much payment I would get so well, this was like one of the toughest job I would say I have done so first of all this is my first job and second of all this is like peak winter and she said I have to drop the paper so they have a, like a bundle of papers they put it on the street um like every street one corner so i have to deliver the paper like 20 houses in that street 20 to 30 hours or something like that and then there will be another bundle in a next street and i have to take the individual like you know bundle and, and deliver it to every door because they just drop the bundle in one spot so it's like sometimes it's okay because I go with all the gloves and it's it's um, you know for for five houses ten houses you don't feel that much you just take the paper and put it in the mailbox take the paper and put it in the mailbox but like one or two days after like it was freaking freezing cold and it's like snow almost till the ankle so it's snowing freezing cold and like you know no matter how many sweaters I wear now I have to like carry the bundle of papers and you know put it in the mailbox so it was like freaking hard and then like I told myself I'll continue this job if I get enough paid because it's 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 super labor intensive so after two weeks I called her up hey um, I delivered in this this the streets so they know that and then she said okay awesome um, how do you want the payment uh, I can do e-transfer or I can give you check. Sure, e-transfer. How much? And she says, guess, 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 throw in the comments. $55 or $56, 50 cents, something like that. It's like literally, oh my God. For, I, I think I, I, I used to do like one or two hours every day. And it's like two weeks, which is like 10, 15 days. So it's, horrible I couldn't even guess like she paid me like less than five dollars and of course I appreciate it was because my first payment in Canada like first income in Canada I was happy but at the same time like it's freaking labor intensive it's like 
pretty much not paying much i, I thought to myself you know i would rather look for some other job where i can make better money so that's my first experience uh, you know after that i i did a lot of other jobs i'm going to talk about the other part time jobs in a next series um you know there are some horrible jobs that i have done like um you know i i want to talk about that in the next job but here is the lesson i learned um especially like if you're a new student in canada um you can do find a lot of nice jobs like you know if you can get your driver license honestly for some reason i don't know why i didn't invest money i didn't get a car i didn't you know um get my license um because you know that needs some money um and second thing maybe you can what skills you have if someone would have told me hey you're a student go do any jobs at that time that's what i was doing but if if i know what i know at the moment i would strongly recommend you find a job or any work that can improve your skills what you have or what you're good at i because now i i i slowly seeing some people you know they're finding creative ways like for example if you love writing content writer go find some you know online fiver or different job sites uh, if you love doing videos call, find people like me who want some help with the videos if you are um, you know uh, or if you are good at telling stories go make your youtube channel um you know if if you're if you enjoy driving have a car and do the deliveries because that you can make more money and you can you don't have to be that labor intensive um but at the same time i would strongly recommend like find something that is like very related to you and that can improve your everyday skills that will be helpful for you in later on as well you know um that's that's my suggestion in terms of part and just because this pa- delivering a paper of course it told me it, uh, it it made me strong it was like you know in that uh, tough snow weather and all those things made me definitely strong but uh, it didn't really improve any of my skills that i had or anything so um that's my take away from this uh, part time experience uh, first part time experience let me know what you think about this experience in the comments and um where are you look watching this video from let me know in the comments below i'm, I'm curious because i'm really looking to um uh, you know inspire our indian students in canada or your looking to come to canada i'm curious to hear from you let me know and looking forward to see you in the next video have a wonderful day